Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Someone asked me a question a little bit ago on how I can get over my fear, like about being in front of the camera or talking to other people or things like that. And I thought that was a great question. And here's the thing, I can only tell you what I do. I can't say it will work for you or it will work for everybody. I can only give you my viewpoint on it and my philosophy and how I think about things and hope that it helps you. So long story short, I'm going to give a perfect example of something sort of disrelated but related. I love to sing, okay? I love to do, I just love to sing. However, I get up on stage and I literally feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Like if I go to do karaoke or something, or I feel like I'm going to like throw up or whatever. I have two options at this stage, okay? I can either not do it because I'm so scared and let my fear stop me, or I can just shove it aside and go do it anyways and accomplish my goals and dreams. So that's literally how I look at it. Uh, I know I don't come across as shy or whatever, but I do have horrendous stage fright. I'm not a normally just go out and talk to everybody kind of person, and I don't get up on stage frequently and speak in front of thousands of people, etc. So when I started making videos, it wasn't easy for me to talk on a video, and then it was really difficult for me to show my face on a video. That took a, quite a while. And then, you know, I just did it and did it and did it. At this point, it's been almost a couple years and I'm certainly a lot more comfortable than I was when I first started. If you look at even the intro video for this channel or the intro, which I should, I'll probably change pretty soon, or the intro video for Mixed Media Girl channel or something, they're much more awkward <laughs> and yeah, you can tell I'm not as relaxed and comfortable as I am now. And that just literally comes from the years of just pushing past it and making myself do it because achieving my goals and dreams is more important to me than letting my fears take over, you know, or yeah. And that really applies to artists, like really, really not just people that want to do YouTube, but people that want to sell their art. A lot of artists will go, well, I'm, I'm maybe I'm not good enough. And someone really, uh, honestly, on that note too, posted a, a comment just a couple of days ago on, for a new artist, it's really hard to tell when you are good enough. And so to answer that, and I'm going to do another future video on this as well, because it goes into kind of the pricing, the art. I didn't actually even start selling my art directly. Like I just started posting pictures of my art and then the fans came to me. <laughs> um, like they, my friends and family were like, oh, I want to buy that. So I would say even try that. That is a really good gauge. Post it to your friends and family who are going to be the people that aren't going to criticize you and aren't going to say, wow, your stuff is like crap, but they will buy your things. And once they start originating and saying that they want to buy it without you asking, that's a pretty good gauge for that. But either way, there's nothing to say that you can't just start putting things up for sale. If they don't sell, what's the worst that could happen? You just take it down or you leave it up there and it sells eventually or whatever. You know what I mean? It's not like someone's going to say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that or anything like that, you know? So the whole message of this video is just go for it. Don't let your fears and insecurities stop you from doing what you want to do. Just go out and do it. No matter how hard it is, just push past that. And I know that's not possible for everyone. But I, like I said, I can only tell you what I do and hope that it helps you in what you're trying to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.